Michael Moore makes a terrific point, and, and others have uh, as well, um, because it, uh, he tweeted it. Do we have a graphic for this tweet? I think uh, we do. I yeah. believe we do. Yeah, yeah, so this is the Michael Moore graphic. Um, uh, he says, for the past two days, the right has been pounding their Obama is an angry black man video. Did this affect O that he had to appear timid? Uh, a point that, uh, uh, that Michael Eric Dyson uh, made on MSNBC today. Uh, as well, that, that, that he thinks that Obama's failure to say something like that, especially now that we're talking about the reference to boys, that he never said, hey, I'm not your boy, or said anything like that, was because he was actually somewhat, he was defensive about that video and wanted to appear above it all, presidential, so, and, and not willing to sort of get into the muck. So for those of you who didn't see the video, Fox News, Drudge Report, Daily Caller, they all hyped up as, we've got secret video of Obama. Turns out, of course, it wasn't a secret video. They had showed it in 2007. Tucker Carlson, one of the guys who hyped it, has showed it on MSNBC in 2007. In two, uh, during the 08 uh, election campaign. It was right? it's Obama speaking at a, a black church. Uh, yeah, we actually have an excerpt if you want to watch it. Why don't yeah. we go to video 18? What's happening down in New Orleans? Where's your dollar? Where's your Stafford Act money? Tells me that somehow the people down in New Orleans, they don't care about as much. So, now, it's nonsense because everybody had already covered that story and he's not angry. Now, you can make fun of his accent there because he's obviously in front of a black crowd speaking with a thicker black dialect. Keep it real. That's what's happening, right? Mm -hmm. But they use that as a proxy for, can you believe this? We have secret tape of President Obama being black. <laughs> like, yeah, we kind of knew that. But what's amazing and which pisses me off is so often President Obama responds to that kind of crap from Fox News mm -hmm. by overreacting in the opposite direction. Obviously, Shirley Sherrod is the best example of it. So, oh my God, Glenn, you're going to be on Glenn back tonight. You're going to be on Glenn. You're, you're fired. You got to resign right away. Remember, they had her pull over, and, and it turns out the tape was doctored by Breitbart's people, etc. And so, and, and I wonder if he overreacted. Now, look, er, Michael Eric Dyson, Ed Schultz, everybody was talking about it. Let's watch that as well. Clip 19 has been subject to the Fox News treatment of angry black man again. Now, lest we forget this, lest we pretend that that doesn't make a difference to the specter hanging over his neck that I can't come off as too vigorous because then it looks like I'm being an angry black man. It was just very frustrating to watch a guy lie to the American people and not be counterpunched because we're afraid he's going to be called an angry black man. He, you know, he can't blame matters of anger and race. He lost. He's got to face that. I think they're both right. In varying degrees. You think who's both right? I think that, that President Obama did react to the Fox News thing a little bit, right? And that he has an instinctual response of he's been having to deal with this crap his whole life. Right. And so when challenged with that, he goes into slightly deferential mode, which is an overreaction to I don't want to seem hostile because that would really hurt my political chances, which, yeah. which sucks, but is in reality in, in American politics, especially as he was going through it, etc. But overall, Dan Rather is also right, which is that that's a small part of it. Mainly, he looked tired, he didn't respond well, etc. It's probably the larger aspect of it. Yes. What do you think? I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't see into his soul. I don't know whether this is true. It, 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 it's, it's a fair argument, and it gets people again talking about how horrible it is the way that tape has been trotted out. But then it goes back to Rather's point. You know, it is what it is. You, you, you his. I mean, his performance is what it is. Whatever motivated him to do that, I am 100% certain it, it will change in the next debate. Yeah, John. And I think it, when I first read it, I didn't, I didn't really buy what uh, Michael Eric Dyson was saying, but I think that it's a little bit more believable when you consider the Shirley Sherrod case and how he responded to any kind of criticism coming out of Fox News, but also it's not really that far of a leap from his normal debating style anyway. It's not like he's normally an incredibly aggressive, yeah. like making big punches all the time, especially when he's in the lead. And, and so that goes to two points having to do with race and not do, uh, having to do with race, but having everything to do with who President Obama is. So uh, on the racial issue, keep it real. Divorce from what happened in the debate last night, President Obama has always tried to be even keel, partly because if he wasn't, the Fox News of the world were ready to pounce and go, oh, he's just like Jesse Jackson, he's just like Al Sharpton. It's an easy way to marginalize an African American politician in the country. And President Obama certainly knew that throughout his career, certainly 
actively tried to avoid that label throughout his career and did so successfully. And oftentimes I would get frustrated because I wanted him to punch harder, but he I think that this was a factor that prevented him from punching harder, but he was able to win anyway. Now the second part of it is his nature, which is, yeah. now look, he beat the hell out of McCain in those debates without being overly forceful mm -hmm. or aggressive. He crushed McCain according to the polling in every single debate. So now, and so part of his natural instinct is everything's going to be okay, we just play it calm, we're always calm. Here, he was way too calm. At some point, you got to fight back.